My name is Thierry Lamar, and I come from France, uh, from a town called Saint-Germain-en-Laye, uh, which is in the suburb of Paris. Uh, I always was drawing because my first passion was drawing when I was a kid. And as I was saying, I always followed my passion. And I always was drawing when I was even skiing and windsurfing. But uh, I decided one day to give it a try to uh, make it uh, my life. That's the way I am. I just follow my passion. And I think I just couldn't live without it. I need to find, it's the soul of things. I, I need to find, I try to capture the soul of people or things or, or places. And that's what we uh, trying to paint. And it's a challenge to try to portray that on a, on a piece of paper or canvas or wood, because I work into, uh, on different grounds because I also like the reaction of the ground to, you know, to the interaction, sorry, I should say, uh, because it, it becomes different if you paint on paper, on canvas, or, or on wood. And there is also the, the soul, I think there is soul into what I paint, onto what I paint, which is, for example, uh, those pieces of driftwood that I collect. And I, I, I like the, the life behind it, I like uh, the history, and I think there is some soul of things coming out of it. I believe that you have to paint what, you, what I call what you have under your feet. So I live in the Bahamas, so I have to paint uh, in the Bahamas. So I like to go on the out island and, and discover people who, who live uh, still uh, like they were living um, 30, 40, 50 years ago. The more I, I know my subjects, the better I paint them. There is a lot of emotion growing, and I've been painting that lady from Long Island that I discovered about 15 years ago, and I've been painting her since. Her name uh, is Ophelia Smith, and uh, she lives in Long Island in a little village uh, called Seymour's. And I went crabbing, I went fishing with her, I went on a field trip with her, which is always an amazing experience. Unfortunately, her youngest daughter, Betty, uh, passed away a couple of years ago. And I've always known Betty around Ophelia, but Ophelia had such a presence that uh, Betty for me was there uh, physically, but not, not, not mentally. She was in her own world. The last three weeks of her life in Nassau, and I went to see her every day, and I, I, and I suddenly saw a different side of Betty. And, that wanted me to paint her. I, I developed a different relationship with Betty. So I started to paint her. So my painting process is first, it starts from emotions. I have to react to my subject. I have to feel something for my subject. Sometimes I need time to, to, to grow. The idea has to grow in my head. And sometimes I would not paint it right away. I would let it grow. And also because I'm interested in, in many different subjects, um, I, I used to paint only in watercolors, but I had to develop different techniques because the watercolor maybe was not suitable for certain subjects or for certain emotion that I had. So I started to paint in different medium, on different grounds like wood, paper, canvas. And to be able to paint on all those grounds, I had to have a lot of tools um, so I started to work with pastel and crayons and, 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 and charcoal, ink, uh, watercolors, of course, because that was my main medium. And also egg tempera. So I had to do some research and, and learn all this process. And now I have all those tools um, that I can work with. And depending of, of, of how I want the painting to be or finished, I will use a lot of um, different tools. Um, painting is a lifelong journey. I should say creativity is a lifelong journey. So I've been painting for probably many, about 30 years, but I just want to keep going because I want to see what's, I, I always try to pull, pull the best out of myself. And nobody knows, I don't know what's, what's the best I can produce. So I, I hope that I will be able to paint until uh, the last day of my life.